That right there is what we call a muddy. Nice big buck, straight out of that hole. Ooh. Hey guys, Angry Nick here, or formerly known as Angry Nick. Just got to our, our holiday destination. The, uh, the princess of the Pilbara, Mr. Dawn himself, couldn't uh, couldn't make it just yet, so he's asked me to do a bit of filming for him. I'm uh, quite think I'm a man of very few words, and there's a camera in front of me, but we'll see how we go. Um, got to camp this morning, set up. Fair bit of wind around today, so. No chance to get the boat out, but it's looking like the uh, the next few days are going to be pretty mint. <coughs> um, nice full moon as well, so if we can get out, I'm sure the fish will be biting. What we're doing here, though, is we're going to go try and get a, a mud crab or two. I've heard that there's um, it's been getting smashed a bit the last few days, so I'm not sure how well we'll go. But you know what they say. Just because you got a hook and you find a hole doesn't mean you know what to do with it. So I like to think that the size of the hook we've got, we might be right to, to pull it out. Rocking up to the first few pools now. A few footprints around. Sorry if there's a bit of rip, a bit windy in the uh, in the noise department, but that's what we're dealt with here. Um, yeah, what we're looking for is a few few muddy holes, um, a couple muds for dinner would be lovely. Um, only very early on. I like to walk up a fair bit and find that the holes start to get a bit better the further you go up. Uh, just coming down to low now, so I'm hoping uh, over the big high this morning, um, the, the crabs are still hanging around. Um, they might even be out on the flats starting the sunbake with that tide going down, so be sure to check there. I'm up to a few pools here. What you're looking for is some holes along the embankment. Here you can see that there's not a lot going on. Okay, so a pool like that's not gonna give you too much. But, you know, I've even been around here before and they've just been sitting in the, in the pools on their own no hole needed so you got to check everyone makes for a, a long trip when you check everyone you probably end up walking about six kilometers in total through the mud my heavy legs that can be rather tedious but it's okay it's all worth it a little overhang here certainly seen some crabs in this kind of area before. We also have a little throw net to get some live bait here. Plenty of mullet hanging around. Also plenty of footsteps which isn't ideal. Certainly isn't ideal when we're muddy. I guess if they go out for the tide and come back and all that kind of stuff but you're uh, no guarantee. Also heard of some bloke bringing a quad bike through the mud up here. It's not accessible by car, but clearly it's accessible with a quad bike. Don't necessarily agree with that. I'm sure it's not too good for the environment. It's all well and good going out here and getting a feed. We definitely encourage 
out here at Dawn Adventures, but okay, the big but to that is quite a lot of the pools that I've gone past already have uh, been dug out with shovels. And uh, yeah, that's not right. Um, use a hook, hook them out of their hole and, and keep that hole as is so the next muddy that stumbles across it's got somewhere to live. Digging out all these holes just means that they've got to go elsewhere. Makes it harder for us to get Get a feed, but it's also ruining the habitat. So please, please, please try not to use your shovel. All right, a hook will do just as good a job. You don't need to bugger up, bugger it up for everyone else. Now, this doesn't look like much, but there's fresh dig out the front of it. There's a bit of a hole. Fortunately, there's nothing in that one, but fresh digging in the front of the hole is normally a pretty good sign that there's been something in there. Like I said, there's so many footprints and fresh footprints too, so easy holes like that are um, going to get hammered. This right here, that looks pretty good. Nice big hole here. See how we're going there. Right, so I'm no expert here, okay, but I'm pretty sure there is a muddy in this hole. So fingers crossed we can pull him out. Pretty big hole, and I have done this one cut this hole a few times before and uh, there's a few different nooks and crannies in there and uh, wouldn't be surprised if I forget my whole arm in, in to get to the back of this hole so we'll see how we go see what I can pull out There's a crab in here. There we go. Bang. First crab of the trip. Nice healthy buck. He's feisty. Come here. There we go. Nice one. Now, you can tell whether they're they're full of meat by that. And he there is full of meat and we're on the board. 
just goes to show the importance of uh, checking every hole even though there's so many footsteps around chances are it hasn't been since the latest high tide so yeah pulled one out he's not massive his size though going home for dinner see if we can get a few more for the rest of the family back at camp i'm not sure how well you can see it but there's some fresh mud in in there it's not a huge hole it's right out the front of the uh, the mangroves as you can see but who knows we'll have a, a little feel in there and see what we can pull up no dice with that one but we are coming into the good ground now so hopefully even there fresh digging in that hole so plenty of activity it just depends whether these crabs have already been taken out of their hole or not all right so oh yeah so this hole is about 10 meters from where we pulled the first crab out of and there's a hundred percent one in here so let's see Moving around a fair bit. Bang, there we go, crab two. This one here, real red in color. As you can see in there, two crabs. Good start, don't need to take a ton, but we've got six people at camp. So two mud crabs isn't gonna get us too far. Everyone likes a claw, so if we can get one or two more, then pretty happy. Just quickly, these little guys here. Mr. Me. And, uh, oh, a little baby mud there as well. But those little blue claw, Crabs. I don't know the technical name for them or anything like that. I just call them blue claws. They are the best blue bone bait going around. If you ever ever need to get some blue bone bait, come out to these mangrove pools and you find yourself the best bait. What we've got here. is a crab claw now there looks like there might be two holes in here i wonder if there's been a battle but what we've got here that looks pretty fresh not very big 
but I wonder if there's been a bit of a battle. Hopefully a big buck's in there waiting for us. Sure enough, this little guy was in the hole, minus a claw. Now, he might have been pulled out Oof. by someone else, or he could have been in a battle. He wasn't in the main hole in here. He is a little bit feisty, but he is a bit too small to be keeping, so he'll live on for another day. Uh, good luck, mate. Hopefully uh, you get your claw back, grows back nice and healthy. We'll, we'll let him back in his hole. Come on, mate. Yeah, this is your pool, buddy. Sit how? We've reached the end of this mangrove system pretty much. However, on the other side of this creek, there's a couple of holes that can almost guarantee mud crabs. Most of the time, we've been able to pull them out. So, we're gonna go give it a crack today not ideal that where we're walking to has quad bike tracks but who knows like I said earlier just because you got a pole in a hole doesn't mean you know how to use it just cross the creek these last few pools give them a check and we might stop have a drink of water, head back along the flats and see if we can't pick up one or two more. Looks like some fresh digging and a pretty nice hole there. Hopefully we can pull one out. He's a ripper. There we go. How good's that? There we go. Nice big buck. Straight out of that hole. Hey mate. There we go. Ripping buck. Well, that's three. We said three or four would be good. You can see some people coming ahead so glad I got here when I did but yeah ripping crab one more would be great but three we can't complain with like I said in the, the sandy sandy holes where you can see some stuff out the front more often than not if it looks disturbed you're gonna pull out a nice muddy and we've done that here nice big buck nice and healthy strong hard shell you beauty Just walking along have here. Hey pal, you're coming home. There's our fourth. How good's that? Welcome mate. Bang. There we go. Just checked him. His size. You beauty. Four muddies. Oh. This feels 
like a good healthy crab. Oh, just the claw there. That right there is what we call a muddy. Unfortunately, one of his claws ripped off. Righto guys, that's, that's gonna be us. Um, five muddies, can't complain with that. Some of them feel very full as well, so I know it seems like five's a lot, but between six of us, um, they'll get polished off nicely for dinner. Gonna steam along the flats on the way back. Might see another one. I don't think we'll bother getting it. Um, five between six is, is a good feed in itself. Leave them, leave them there for next time. Um, but if there's anything cool along the way, then I'll be sure to show you. Cheers. Don't know if you can see this, but we've got I think they're ghost crabs. I don't know for sure. But there is thousands of them along here. Well, we're just about to get back to the car. Got ourselves a feed. I'll um, do the cook up a bit later on and see how it goes, but good successful trip nice way to start the uh the holiday anyway hope you enjoyed that i know i did I'll see you a bit later on for the cook up go what do we reckon wonderful nick wonderful <laughs> that's a happy man right there <laughs> thanks very much for watching please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel to see more content if you enjoyed this episode check out my chili mud crab recipe here